Good evening, everyone. My name is William, and welcome to CBS3 Eyewitness News at 11 on this December 7th. Tomorrow, we get an answer to figure out who is identified as the boy in the box. Let's kick it off with my Uncle Joe Holden as he has the latest developments on the unknown child. Good evening, Uncle Joseph. Seasoned investigators will tell you a case goes cold after 48 This one happened almost 25,000 days ago. Known only as the boy in the box, come tomorrow morning, we will have a name. Police will announce a positive identity for America's unknown child at a Thursday morning news conference. CBS 3 first broke word last week that the department had solved a major part of this investigation. Police will be joined by retired detectives and scientists. They'll explain the work undertaken to identify this child who was believed to be no more than six years old when he was killed. The story began on February 25th, 1957. The body of a boy was discovered along Susquehanna Road in the Fox Chase section of Philadelphia. The cause of death was listed as blunt force trauma. He appeared to be cleaned and freshly groomed, you know, with a, with a haircut. Detectives say the remains were placed in a bassinet box before they were dumped along that roadside. In the days and weeks following the gruesome discovery, police would wallpaper the city with flyers pleading for information. Theory after theory was explored. Investigators never gave up. The largest break in the case in recent memory was in April of last year. Police then announced exclusively to CBS3 a DNA profile was successfully developed. When would you say was the last time you felt this close to breaking his name? This is the closest. Yeah, this is the closest we have gotten. That was then, and now we are just several hours from having a name to go with a face. All right. Thank you, Uncle Joe. We will provide continuing coverage and carry tomorrow's news conference on CBS News Philadelphia beginning on Thursday morning at 11 in the morning. Three people are dead, including two firefighters after a house fire in Schuylkill County. The fire started at around 4 o'clock this afternoon in West Penn Township. Two firefighters got trapped inside. They were rescued, but later died from their injuries. One other victim was found inside the home. That cause remains under investigation. Thieves stole some converters from Gloucester Township, New Jersey school buses. If you see them thieves, just give police a call and don't approach them. That's the same type of men that did this back-to-back -back nights ago. They need to be dealt with, that's for sure. In both cases, authorities said a driver in a Honda started to do some serious damage. A Coatesville woman who was trapped inside her car after a crash is searching for the man who saved her life. Dashcam video shows when a young woman named Carla started to hit something, she landed in a ditch. That really, really hurts to see things like that. This investigation is going to continue for some sort. I can't believe that this is happening all too fast. And as we continue tonight, we will have the rest of the top stories for you. You can find CBS News Philadelphia through Pluto TV and CBS News along with everything else. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> 